Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Ooh, very good, thanks God. <laughs> I am on time. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the traffic or something happened? Yes, there was a, um, a, a coaster that was left and I had to go with my, with my husband to pick it, to pick it up and I have to drive, of course. And wow, the traffic was very heavy. Yes, the traffic has been crazy today. It's been heavy. Yes. <laughs> but fortunately, well, you're in time. <laughs> yes. Oh, thanks, God. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. And the rest of you, how's your Monday so far? Nobody wants to talk about Monday. How's your Monday been doing so far? <laughs> Hi, Marjorie. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Hi. I'm tired. I'm tired. A lot of work? Um, more or less. Uh, but I, I, um, been, uh, exercise. Oh, you exercise today. Fantastic. <laughs> no more coach potato life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about the same. I would like to go to a gym. Are you going oh. to a gym or you exercise at home? I'm home, with, home. A, with a friend. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you, you have a uh, kind of challenge with your friend? Yes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And the rest of you, how are you doing? How's your Monday so far? For wow, me, Emily, you look different today. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it's great. It's great for me because today I feel I feel so 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 sad. You felt and, sad today. Yeah, and and I pray for the different work. Okay, yeah. hopefully you will I, have. Yes, I need different work. And so my mom tell me, no, my mom told me, hey, Lily, um, get up. <laughs> and never get up. And he me dijo, vámonos a la plaza. Te acabo de venir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, you're lucky to have your mom there with you to support you. You're lucky. <laughs> okay. Um, let's begin. Today, uh, we are going to start the section number four. Yes. What is the topic of the section four? Do you remember? What does she look like? Yes, what does she look like? So we're going to be describing people. We're going to study vocabulary to describe people and we're going to practice as well. So let's see in the presentation. Oh, okay. slow today. Okay. Okay, so uh, we have, uh, as I was telling you at the beginning, the section number four is where we're going to start studying this week. And the topic is, what does she look like? Uh, first, we have the word power. We're going to um, watch the video in which we're going to find vocabulary that we may use in order to describe people's appearance. So, okay. 
Let me share the video. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, Handsome, good looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, so in the video you watch and the vocabulary and the pronunciation for those words that we can use in order to describe people, physical appearance, right? We have long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, mustache and a beard, young, it's just to talk about age. We say young, middle young. aged, elderly. Middle -aged. elderly. About looks, we have handsome, looks. good and looking, good and looking. Pretty. pretty. In this case, remember that we're going to use handsome just and to refer uh, uh, for a male and pretty only for ladies. You can use good looking for both, okay? Oh, so, nice. para un hombre siempre, uh, para decir que un hombre es guapo, vamos a decir handsome, pero solo para hombre. Para mujer, para decir que es, es guapa, como decimos en español, sería pretty, ¿verdad? Bonita, pretty. Um, uh, en ambos casos, podemos referirnos como good looking. El good looking se puede utilizar para él y para ella, para ambos. Pero handsome, solo para hombres, y pretty, solo para mujeres. Uh, to describe height, we have the word short, very mm -hmm. short, very medium short. height, pretty medium. tall, and very tall. Very tall. tall. Mm -hmm. And then we have a space here in which we can write some other words of expressions that we can use in order to describe people's physical appearance. Um, before moving on, I would like to know if you have any questions in regards to vocabulary or pronunciation. Um, teacher, uh, good looking is like, uh, Buen parecer. Ajá, bien parecidos, atractivos. Uh -huh. Ajá, de buen, bien parecidos. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Strange black hair es como un... Um, straight eh, se refiere a, a la textura, digamos. Straight es liso. Liso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, black is the color. Now, curly es ondulado. Oh, Rojo okay. is the color, yeah? Uh, teacher, uh, we could say curly like colocho. That's it. Yes, curly, in, yes, curly is colocho. 
Para decir ondulado es otra palabra. ¿Eh? Ok. Rizado. It's wave. Uy. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to write it on the chat because I don't I don't remember if it is in the presentation. So I'm going to write it here. Just uh, let's see. It is like this. Is it wavy? Wavy. Wavy. Ah. Yes. Ahí en el chat se los puse wavy. Uh, that is ondulado. Wavy. Yeah, curly, sí, es colocho, colocho. Okay. Curly. Fairly okay. short. Um, what is it? Uh, uh, hey. Fairly short es como, es decir, um, la palabra fairly puede ser eh, eh, bajo, pero no como enano, es como justo, una, justo. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Well, short, es, es well, ya bien, bien, bien bajito. Eh, fairly short es como, el fair se refiere a que es como lo, lo justo para no ser enano vea o, o, o ya bien bajo ya yeah? fairly short es como decir bastante um, eh, pequeño y yeah, a decir alguien es short es ya yeah, enano is it medium age ah uh, medium height es es de, uh -huh. de estatura mediana uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any other question? We have more uh, vocabulary to help you with this. I uh, We have it divided here into categories. Like for example, we have here height, right? We have tall, short of average height about and, and we can say the the centimeters right um aquí podemos llenar con los centímetros para decir aproximadamente tantos centímetros de alto about the amount here centimeters tall and we have the word dwarf dwarf esto es enano ya es un poco ofensiva la palabra de hecho mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, when we said build, is is como la contextura del cuerpo. Eh, we can say skinny, slim, and lean. Estas tres palabras son para una persona delgada. Yes, skinny, slim, and lean. You can use any of those. Uh, then we have the word fat, plum, and obese, right? Fat. Plum and obese. Es para referirse a una persona gorda, ¿verdad? Uh, well built es como una persona de, de, de buena. No es ni gordo ni, ni flaco, ¿verdad? This is well built. Um, and then we have frail. Es como una. Ya se ve muy, muy, muy delgado, una persona casi que frágil, frail. Uh, muscular es alguien. Fornido, ¿verdad? Muscular. And then we have the word stocky. Stocky es para referirse a alguien que es como, como, bueno, stocky and shabby son para referirse a alguien como regordete, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. we have stocky and shabby. Stocky and sure. shabby. Mm -hmm. Eh, pero Xavi no se utiliza más que todo en niños. No, le puedo decir, um, la verdad que es, eh, sí. Puede decirle a una persona, uh, 
voy a, estoy tratando de hacerles un poquito más grande la pantalla, pero no puedo. Se me saca y me manda a otro lado, entonces este, ahí sí le pueden dar, no sé. Ok. Y este pilar sí, le puede, sí la puede ampliar. Mm. Mm, estoy tratando con el mouse y con... No, pero es que us, us, el, la persona tiene que ampliarla. Cada quien la puede ampliar, sí, porque no, no me deja. Ahorita que estoy presentando, no me deja ampliar. So, uh, we have the word shabby. Uh, and sturdy. Sturdy is like robusto también. Una persona robusta. So, estas tres son para hablar de alguien como rechoncho, regordete, o, o, o robusto. Sturdy. And then we have, to talk about age, we can say that a person is old, young, middle aged, teenager, adult, in his or her early, middle, late 20s or 30s. Eh, podemos decir que alguien está en sus, a sus tempranos 20 o a mediados de los 20 o ya ya, ya muy avanzado en los 20 o en los 30 años, así podemos, eh, por ejemplo, yo ya voy ya de salida de los 30, podemos decir that I am in my late 30s, right? I'm in my late 30s. Um, mm -hmm. so you have to combine, tienen que combinar esas, esas tres cosas. In his o in her, dependiendo si es él o ella. Y luego dice si es early, mid, or late. Y si es 20s, 30s, 40s, and so on. Now, to describe people's face, we have uh, this vocabulary. Round and you have face. It's round face, oval face, long face. Freckles es como con pecas. Una persona con pecas, es freckles. And squared es como una cara cuadrada. No, ya son cuadraditas. Sí. Eh, to describe eyes, we have dark, uh, large, bright, narrow, small. And to describe people's mouth, we have uh, to describe people's mouth or lips as thin, full, lips crocked, or even thick or large. Okay, as so you can say lips or um, or even thick crocked. It's como torcido. Para decir que está, algo está torcido, puede ser que la boca se vea un poco torcida o los dientes, ahí está el mouth crocked or teeth, um, crocked teeth, or si los dientes están parejos es even teeth, o si la boca es larga es large. Now, about the hair, we si have usa, si usa dark. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's when people wear brackets. Uh -huh. brackets, okay. Uh -huh. Now, about color, we have dark and we have fair. It's the opposite, dark, and the opposite of dark is fair. We can say if the hair is long or short. About texture, we have straight, wavy, curly, okay? And then we have spiky. Spiky is el estilo como cuando andan el pelo de puyudo o de puntas, con puntas, ¿verdad? That's spiky. spiky. Um, bald, it's no hair at all. That's bald. And then blonde, ginger, and brown. I know, you know, blonde is like rubio, and ginger is un pelo rojo, pelirrojo, yeah, it's ginger. Uh, brown. Is, is shorter length, right? Shorter length. Um, worn in, se refiere a cómo lo lleva, cómo lo usa. Like, for example, um, and this is worn in ponytail. Yeah? Lo uso o lo llevo con colita de, 
la verdad es que le decimos de caballo, ¿verdad? Ponytail. Um, uh -huh. So you can say worn in ponytail. Lo usa con cola de caballo o lleva cola de caballo puesta. Worn in ponytail. Or plates or braids. Si, si lo lleva trenzado. Worn in. Ahorita les pongo ahí. Braids. Mm -hmm. Worn in braids. And let's see. About skin. About the skin. Acerca de la piel. We can say if it is fair. Si es piel clara. Fair. Or dark. Si es oscura. Tan. Si es bronceada. Tan. Pale. Una piel pálida. O light es un tono como normal, ¿verdad? Como un tono ligero de piel. Light. About the nose, we can say if it is long or a yeah, hook. Um, hay personas que la nariz es un poco como, como un canchito, como así como para abajo. Es es like hook. Es es flat, es como en recta, right? Flat, como plana, flat. Uh, pointed es una nariz puntiaguda, pointed, large, es larga, ¿verdad? Yeah. Straight es cuando es una nariz eh, recta o lista. And that is just vocabulary that can be useful for you in order to describe people's physical appearance. Questions? No too questions? Much. Too much, too much, too much. But uh, I believe, teacher, that let's continue and, and later on, I will say wh what words I don't understand. Oh, okay, you can tell me now. Um, uh, well, the problem is that uh, I, I, I printed all the, all the, the sheets here, but... Uh, it was not very good. I, I cannot see the, the, the words correctly. I will I will use another method to to, to visualize them very good. Ah, okay. Es que so, no se ven tan claras, teacher. Aquí, por eso de que no. Ah, okay. That's uh, the the quality, right? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Um. Vamos a ver qué podemos hacer o, o voy a ver si se los eh, lo paso de otra manera para que lo tengan mejor. Mm -hmm. Yes, please, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, if no more questions, we have a more vocabulary here. Probably. I have a question, words. teacher. Yes. Uh, could you explain to me how well is the use of plane? Yes. Sorry, can you repeat it? Plain. Uh, plain. P L E. -N. Can you write it in the chat, please? Es que hay como un background noise y no no lo escucho bien. Okay. Did you write the word? I don't see it. No me deja enviar mensaje. No sé por qué. Okay, can you try spelling the word again? Plain. Plain, plain, plain. Claim? No, plain. Claim. Ah, plain. Es, es algo. Uh, plain is uh, in this. ¿En cuál es que estaba plain? Plain se refiere a algo simple, 
algo plano, clear o light, depende de qué de que estemos hablando. A ver, ¿a dónde está plain? Sí. It was in here or where? Where was plain? No está. No está aquí. Uh, no. Uh, I say is ordinary looking. No. Plain se refiere a algo simple, algo plano. Pero, ¿cómo se podría utilizar, digamos, cuando una persona es así como normal o tradicional? O ¿Cómo? ¿No? Yo por eso le, le preguntaba que si cómo se podría utilizar. La palabra plain para describir a una persona no. O tal vez su forma de ser, si es una persona simple, podría decir que es plain. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other questions? Igual, a, a eso el plain se escucha bastante en comida cuando la gente pide hamburguesas. Por ejemplo, hay gente que no sé por qué ordena hamburguesas y dicen que las quieren plain. Cuando ordenan algo plain, en, en el caso de las hamburguesas, solo es el pan y la carne. Sí, solo es eso. Sin queso, sin cebolla, sin pepinillo. That's a plain hamburger. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. En comida se usa más que todo con las hamburguesas plain, sin nada. Entonces, solo el pan y la carne. That's not a hamburger, but. Well, no. Mm -hmm. That is like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Igual si es una ropa que no es estampada, que es, es lisa, es plana o simple, es plain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. También en ese sentido se ocupa esa palabra, el plain, um, para referirse a que algo no tiene hechura o dibujo, es plain. Uh -huh. no eh, y así, uh -huh. en eso se, se puede utilizar cuando estamos describiendo ya sea la ropa o la forma de ser también de una persona. Uh -huh. Ok, okay. So, uh, let's see, we have some vocabulary here. You probably know most of these words. Let's repeat, curly. Curly. Friendly. Curly. 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 Funny. 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 Gray. 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 Handsome. 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 Intelligent. Intelligent. Lazy. 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 Long. Yeah. Um, middle age. Middle age. Naughty. Middle age. No. No. Shy. Shy. Strong. 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 Tall. 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 Thin. 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 Wrinkles. 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 Okay. Wrinkles. Questions about this vocabulary? Wrinkles. Okay. Ya yeah. arrugado. Oh. Hasta donde está la K, Frink, es arruga. Ajá, uh -huh, ya, ya se usa uh, <laughs> Arrugado. Ok, Frinkle. <laughs> Naughty. Eh, travieso. O oh, traviesa. Ah. Yeah. Funny is divertido. That's correct. Oh, that's mine. Thank you. <laughs> Any other question? Gray. Yeah, that's the color. Color gray. Gray. It's gris. Uh huh. Gris. Okay. What is the meaning lazy? Lazy is alguien perezoso. That's lazy. Any other question? It's tonto. Which one? Tonto. Tonto. Uh -huh. Como para decir que alguien es tonto. Uh -huh. Silly. Se la voy a escribir. Ay, quiero ver cómo hago para seleccionar. Aquí. Don't be silly. Silly. Uh, some, someone told me that. Silly. Tonto. Don't be silly. Ajá, eso es como no seas tonta, no seas tontita. Don't be silly. Uh -huh. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. So uh, let's complete this exercise. Let's try to place the adjectives uh, according to the sentence as we read. You can just write the number of the sentence and the answer. For example, number one is already done. It is one of my friends has straight hair and another has wavy hair, but I have curly hair. hair. So you got number one, curly. Let's see number two. Sometimes my brother doesn't want to do any work. He can be very lazy. 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 Uh -huh. lazy. So you write number one, curly, number two, lazy, lazy. and so on. Les voy a dar tiempo. I'll give you time for you to complete that exercise. Very good. My classmate is very, he loves to tell you.
my god, it's like it's going to rain. All right, uh, I don't want it to rain. Okay, uh, volunteer for number three. My classmate is very. Uh, era travieso, donde está? Nauti, travieso. My my classmate is very naughty. He loves to tell jokes at the school. Funny. That's another possibility. Funny. Funny. Uh, well, not is a possibility, but the answer here is funny. 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 That's yes. Good. Uh, number four, a volunteer. I'm not sure. I'm tall. Oh. I'm not sure. I'm tall. Yes, that's the answer. Number ten, number five, sorry. <laughs> number five, volunteer? Yes. Mm -hmm. I lost 10 kilograms. Now I am slim. 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 Mm. Yes, Tim. Mm. Okay, very good, Tim. Uh, let's continue with number six. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, she has long blonde hair. She mm. has long blonde hair. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Uh, number seven, volunteer. Me, me teacher, me, me. me. Okay, Sandra. My Kelsey likes to meet new people and make lots of friends. He's very friendly. friendly. Okay, friendly. That's the answer. Thank you so much. Number eight. Hey, teacher. Okay, yep. Emily. Our Del on song is very naughty. Last week, we put on their same and it run away okay naughty yes that's the word here thank you so much good job uh number nine yes my grandmother face is my wrinkle but i still think she is beautiful uh, yes wrinkled thank you so much excellent uh number 10 My grandfather has a long gray beard. Beard, okay. Very Me. good, great. Uh, 11? Me. My mother is very beautiful and my father is handsome. Okay, that's the word. Thank you so much. Um, let's continue with number 12. Mm-hmm. And he's in his 40s. Middle-aged. Yes, that's the word. Very good job. Uh, 13. Typical. My brother doesn't like to meet new people. He's very friendly. Very friendly. Uh, it says my brother doesn't like to meet new people. Sorry, sorry. Shy, shy. Shy. Yes, shy. excellent. Shy. That's the word. Uh, Fourteen. Me teacher. Okay, Roberto. She has a high IQ. She's very intelligent. That's, That's the word. Thank you so much. Uh, finally, 15. We exercise at the gym for days a week. We are very strong. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. Thank you so much. You can check your answers here. So number one, curly. Number two, lazy. Number three, funny. funny. Number four, tall. Number five, 
thin, number six, long, number seven, friendly, number eight, naughty, number nine, wrinkled, uh, number 10, grade, number 11, handsome, number 12, middle age, number 13, shy, number 14, intelligent, and 15, it's strong. Okay, questions? Shy is like timid. Sí, timid. Yes, that's a word. Shy is timido. Any other question? Naughty. Naughty? Do yes. you remember what's naughty? Yes, no, eh, no escuché qué, qué, qué significaba naughty. Travieso. Ajá. That's... Perverso. <laughs> yes, travieso, <laughs> perverso. Um, <laughs> Now, any other question? Yes, teacher. IQ, what does it mean? IQ mm -hmm. es el, el coeficiente, coeficiente intelectual. Ah, mm -hmm. intelligence, quotient. Uh -huh. Intel mm -hmm. Coeficiente intelectual. Oh, cool. And Thank yes. you very much. Any other question? <sighs> That's it? No more questions? No. no. Okay, I'm going to check attendance because it's um it's about to rain here and I don't want to repeat the same story as last week. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so let me get the file here. My wife. Okay, it's ready. Okay, Adrián Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Yancy Orellana. Present teacher. Candida Janet. Present teacher. Cecilia Elizabeth. Cecilia Elizabeth. Isn't she here? I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Claudia Patricia. Claudia Patricia. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Diego Arturo. Present, teacher. Okay, Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. Present. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Present teacher. Jerry Alejandro. Present teacher. Joana Celina. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan. Jonathan Isaac. No, here. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. José Manuel. Judith del Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present. María Susena. Present teacher. Marjorie Vanessa. Present teacher. Melida Rebeca. Melida Rebeca.
No está medida. Ok. Natalia Imperatriz. Present teacher. Eh, <coughs> Areli Guevara. I'm here. Eh, Roberto Adonai. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Romulo Edgardo. Here, teacher. Sandra Araceli. Present, teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present. And Jessica Areli. Present, Miss. Okay. Present, Miss. And, and Oscar Romero. Teacher. Yes. You not mention me. Oh, okay. mention my name, my name, my name. Oh, really? Jose Alberto, Oscar René. ¿Cómo no? Si lo anoté. Ok, very good. Okay. ¿Alguien you. más? I didn't hear Jerry. Jerry. I'm here. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, está anotado. Okay, so let's continue. Then we have a conversation. We're going to listen. Then we're going to practice. Let's see, I think it's this one. Topic, she's very tall. Okay, let's listen. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Es que bueno, no le ando diciendo la edad a los hombres. Oh. <laughs> That like it's kind of normal, right? Okay, um, let's see. Um, right, this is the conversation. Uh, do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? What's the meaning of uh, gorgeous? Gorgeous, when you say gorgeous, it's hermoso or hermosa. Y ese lo puede usar con ambos. Para un hombre o para mujer puede referirse como a, a ellos como gorgeous, y meaning hermoso o hermosa. Thanks. That's gorgeous. Okay, I see that you learned a lot of new vocabulary today. That's terrific. Mm -hmm. okay. That's terrific. Any other question? Terrific. What does it mean to read? Uh, it's similar to fantastic. When oh. you say the word terrific, eh, eh, es un adjetivo. Eh, a veces eh, nos eh, viene a la mente algo como, eh, eh, in Spanish we have terrible. Yeah. Ajá, entonces por eso es que a veces nos confundimos, pero cuando decimos in, in English, oh, terrific, es como decir fantástico. El que es negativo es terrible. Ah. Ajá, uh -huh. terrific. It's good. Terrible is bad. It's like, it's like, teacher, it's like, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited uh, for, es como estoy emocionado. Ajá. Uh -huh. pero... Quiero interpretar, estoy excitado. No, no, I'm excited. Ajá, <laughs> ajá, ajá. Le tendemos a traducirlo como uh, excited, ah, uh, excitado. No, but, excitado. but no. Uh, no, no. 
Es emocionado. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question or comment about vocabulary? Suppose. Uh, suppose es suponer. Supongo. I suppose. Yo supongo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more questions. Okay, so let us practice this conversation in groups. Let me create the breakout rooms. And we're going to go there and practice. Okay, I think we're good to go with three to four. All right, let's join the rooms. Are you experiencing technical issues again? All right, I'm going to reassign you. Teacher. Hola. Me sacó del, del, del Zoom de un solo, no puedo entrar. ¿Usted acaba de escribir? All right, lo voy a tratar de asignar otra vez. Okay. Para que practique.
finish practicing. Right on time, right on time. <laughs> yeah, I'm still missing some people, but ooh, uh, um, we finish right on time. Uh, here is raining cats and dogs. So I have no problems with the other group. Um, been checking and most of you have completed uh, the platform. So if you haven't, please, do it. Uh, remember that it's a requirement. E, so thank you for joining today's section. Tomorrow we will continue practicing describing people. Eh, so study the vocabulary. Estudien el vocabulario nuevo que aprendieron ahora. Mañana seguimos con las descripciones. Okay? Okay. okay. Teacher. Eh, okay teacher. Yes. Teacher, ¿Sí? Could you send us uh, this material? What is your question, sorry? Could you send us uh, Ya lo envié. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow then. Lo recibió, Joaquín. No, si gusta, lo volvemos a enviar al WhatsApp. No. Okay. Oh, okay, so lo vamos a volver a reenviar. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.